Welcome. Today we will determine the albumin content in urine. To perform this experiment, we will need a freshly collected urine, a dummy of urine which is a mixture of water, urine and egg albumin. Firstly, we pet out a small quantity of urine and transferred it to the test tube. Urine sample has been collected before 10 minutes. After transferring the urine sample, gently pour the sulfur salicylic acid of 30% weight by volume. We are now adding sulfur salicylic acid drop by drop over the urine solution. If there is a presence of albumin in given sample of urine, sulfur salicylic acid will denature the protein and it will form a white or cloudiness or turbidity in urine. This will indicate the presence of albumin. But we are not getting any white precipitate or cloudiness in urine here, so it indicates the negative result. Now again, we take a test tube and transfer a small quantity of mixture of urine. It is a mixture of egg, albumin, urine and water. This is a dummy of urine just to explain what will happen if there is albumin in urine. Now process is the same. After transferring a dummy mixture of urine, add sulfur salic acid drop wise over this sample. Now clearly observe the change in color of urine mixture. This is changing to a slightly cloudiness slightly turbidity. When we increase the drop of sulfur salic acid, the turbidity is increased respectively. The change in turbidity indicates the presence of albumin in given sample of urine. Here the sample was egg albumin, water and urine. Thus it confirms the presence of albumin in prepared mixture. Albumin is a major constituent in urine excreted due to the kidney non-proper functioning. So this is our second sample which clearly demonstrates the presence of albumin. Now let's compare with these two solutions. This is a previous pure urine and this is the albumin mixture of urine, egg albumin and water. White precipitate indicate the presence of albumin. Now there is another one method to determine the albumin in urine that is a nitric acid method. We will require a concentrated nitric acid thus safety is our prime. Firstly clamp the test tube with a test tube holder and transfer a small quantity of nitric acid to the test tube. This nitric acid is very much concentrated so uh, care should be taken while transferring the nitric acid towards or in the test tube. After transferring the nitric acid, we will now add urine sample drop by drop. We have prepared a dummy urine sample, so we will do with that also. Firstly, we are doing with a real urine sample, which has been collected before 10 minutes. Now we are adding urine sample drop by drop over the nitric acid solution. The principle is that if there is an albumin in urine, so this will precipitate the protein in the urine. So there will be a white ring over the nitric acid solution. We are not getting any white ring. That means our urine sample is lack of albumin. Means the result is negative. Now we are doing the same. But now this time we are replacing real urine with a mixture of egg albumin, urine and water. Procedure is same. Transfer the small quantity of concentrated nitric acid on the test tube. Now, take a small quantity of mixture of dummy urine. I am repeating again, it is a mixture of egg albumin, water and urine. Now, we are transferring this mixture drop by drop over the nitric acid. I request you to please focus on the do both layer. As you can see, when a drop of urine is popping up, there is a formation of 
white ring over the surface of nitric acid. This is because there is a precipitation of protein that is albumin protein in urine sample due to the interaction between concentrated nitric acid and the albumin. The formation of white ring over the surface indicate the presence of albumin in given sample. Let's compare these two with the previous one and the present one. This was previous with a real urine sample and this is the dummy urine sample. It is having a white precipitate ring 